Hello everyone, thanks for joining us today. My name is Tyler Burnett and I am the marketing manager at Flightscope. Um, if you have any questions throughout the presentation, just ask them in the uh, questions section. Uh, the chat is more for you all to interact, so if you have questions, just please do that in the chat section. Uh, we're very excited today to announce our new learning platform and we're going to take you through some of the features, kind of who it's for, some pricing. Um, if you have any questions along the way, just let us know. So we'll go ahead and get started with the presentation. Uh, the first thing we'll show you here is a, a quick uh, promo video that we put together. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so just a little background on the on the platform. Um, it is an industry recognized certification. Um, so what that basically means is that we have gotten approval from the PGA to grant MSR credit hours. Um, the learning platform was mainly designed for teaching and fitting. So uh, if you are an amateur golfer or someone just working to, to you know, look at the data and stuff. There is some free content on there that you can uh, enjoy, but the platform was mainly designed for PGA instructors. So anyone that's teaching or fitting or using the products in their uh, teaching and fitting business. We'll go to the next slide. Okay, so the first slide here is just some of the free access course that they have. So. You'll see here there's a few topics there that we've listed. This is not all of it, obviously. Uh, you'll see down there at the middle it says and much more, but some things that you can enjoy there are you know, learning about the data parameters, so data parameter definitions, uh, navigating our software, so anything from setup to you know, navigating the screens and all the different software pieces, pieces that we have, teaching with FlightScope, so we do go a little bit in depth into actually teaching with it and using that data parameters in a practical environment when you're with your students. Uh, we do go into some club fitting, uh, mainly with our speed and acceleration profiles, which is uh, something that only FlightScope offers. Uh, so there will be some content in there on that. Um, so like I said, anyone that wants to go to the platform, learn for free. Um, go through all of the content. It's mainly written content. You'll see some data screens and, and data parameter definitions, but all of that is available for anyone that wants to go. The second part of it is the actual professional certification. So if you are looking to get professional flight scope certified, uh, we have a, an option for that as well. Now the, the main difference between that and the free stuff is that we, there'll be videos, podcasts, and we go a little bit more in depth on all of the modules and chapters. So. Uh, Steven Amok is one of uh, our PGA, he's a PGA master instructor, he's been with FlightScope for a really long time, he's uh, done a bunch of our live academies that we've done for the past six plus years. Um, so he'll be on there doing some videos. We also have a really great podcast with Alex Trujillo who I'm sure most of you know is our, our senior sales manager and has spent a lot of time out on tour so he's involved in, in the content and some of the writing of it as well as the podcast that he did with uh, Henry Johnson, who is our founder and CEO, and Mark Immelman, who is uh, head golf coach. He's an instructor, and he actually works for CBS out on the PGA Tour as well. So really good podcast clips. Um, that you have the ability to download that full podcast if you want to listen to it all the way through. And then we've actually broken it up into the different modules um, so that you can play it with the content that's relevant for that, that piece. So. Um, do you want to take some questions? Any questions yet? Okay, we'll move along then. So I think the next piece is another video here. Um, this one is going to show you an example. Why is the spin axis important? 
spin axis has a huge influence on what the ball does in the world. Contrary to popular belief, the reason the ball curves is not due to side spin, because there is no side spin in golf, only back spin. The ball spins backwards around a specific axis, the spin axis. You can think of the spin axis as wings of an airplane. The ball curves in the air similar to the way an airplane banks. The more the spin axis in a certain direction, the more the ball will tend to curve in that direction. As you add ball speed to a given spin axis, the amount of curve can go exponentially. It's very similar to an F-16 that banks its wings versus a prop plane. The F-16 will peel off much faster, so the amount of spin axis tilt plus the ball speed will have a huge effect on the curvature of the ball. Okay, so yeah, that's a good example there of some of the videos that we have in there. Um, as you saw, that was Stephen Amok. He's a PGA Master Instructor. Uh, it's just a little clip to give you an idea and a feel for some of the videos that we have there. He goes more in depth um, on some of the other videos and the data parameters showing examples and things like that. So just wanted to show you that video so you kind of got a feel for some of the content in there. We'll go to the next slide. We have a few questions. Okay. First question is from Tom. Uh, what is the cost for UK? So right now the, the, the pricing is going to be in USD. Uh, we're going to be launching the platform on February 1st. Uh, the price is 299 US dollars. So on February 1st you'll be able to go to flightscopelearning.com and pay there, but the price is 299 US dollars. Question from Rob. Will this be a separate app? Yes, so it is available um, on mobile. It's not an app, but you will be able to go to flightscopelearning.com on any of your devices. Um, you'll be able to use it on, on your phone, on a tablet, or on a PC. Any other questions? So we don't have any plans to add that at this point. Uh, we can speak to, to our team and see if that's something that, that is, is of interest, but right now we don't have any immediate plans for that. A uh, question from Brent. Do you update the PGA and LPGA averages on a yearly basis? So yeah, we do. Um, I believe that we, and I'll have to confirm with the team, I don't think that we've updated them for 2020 yet. Um, but it is something that we do at the beginning of each year, yes. Question in the chat, would the professional certification be worthwhile if utilizing the MIWA Plus for analysis? So that's a great question. I think uh, for us, um, you know, the, the platform and the professional certifications were designed to give teachers and fitters um, a certification on the technology and how to use it in their teaching and fitting practices. Um, if you're not a teacher or a fitter, you know, it's not to say that you can't do it, um, but it was designed for that purpose. Um, so if you're a Mevo Plus customer and you're using it in your teaching and fitting, I would say yes. Uh, if you're just an amateur golfer, um, there's always the free content that you can go through and you're of course welcome to do the professional certification. I think just one thing that we don't want is, is that people go through it and think that it's something that it's not, uh, which is why I keep stressing that it is designed for the teaching and fitting professional. Okay, now we have another video here. Uh, this video is actually something that we just recorded yesterday, so if anyone's interested in seeing this, this is a webinar that Alex Trujillo did yesterday um, on the X3, it's our X3 webinar. And uh, we plugged it in here just to give you sort of a look and feel for it. We will be uploading some of this content as, as ongoing stuff. Uh, we have our new studio, which you can see me in here, that is, is being done in the next couple of weeks. Um, and we'll be doing uh, tons of more content. So I just wanted to give you a little example here. We'll swipe one more time, and now we have the speed profile. Now these profiles that I'm going to show you next is 
speed and acceleration profiles are used um, by many fitters in the country. Um, a lot of our tour players um, use these screens, especially when they're looking to change out any shafts. Uh, and what you see in the speed profile is a graph that is miles per hour over disc, or, or I'm sorry, over distance of the radar. So this middle line that you see on the screen is what we call impact. Then you're going to see some negative numbers, so like negative one, two, three, four, five. So what this graph is showing you is showing you at about negative three, which would be, let's call it what we call zero Doppler right here about hip height, from about three feet before impact, we capture the club head coming into the strike zone, and we can see that my club head was gaining speed towards impact. I have a little bit of a, uh, let's call it, disturbance right before impact. And that could be anything, um, I could be casting the club, uh, the shaft might be too soft for me, uh, many reasons. But this is just showing you uh, what, those, what the club head is doing through that strike zone. Okay, so yeah, that's a good example there of some of the content that we have. That was for uh, teaching and fitting. Uh, it's our speed acceleration profiles, but just gives you a little bit of a good example. So next slide here is uh, our certification. Uh, so the pricing and benefits. So basically what you get with the certification. Um, the main thing, obviously, is the content. You know, we, we hope that you all enjoy the content that we've put together. It's uh, been a lot of hours and time from a lot of different people um, that have come together and, and put this all together. Um, so you'll have access to all of the modules, quizzes, um, all of the education videos from, like I mentioned earlier, from Stephen Amach, uh, the podcast, like we mentioned, with uh, Henry Johnson, Mark Immelman, and Alex. Um, at the end, there will be a certification exam as well. So it's a 50-question exam that you'll need to pass in order to get that certification. Um, so at the end, you'll, you'll basically go through all the modules, you listen to the videos, the podcasts, you'll go through all the content, you'll answer all the quizzes at the end of each module, and at the end there'll be a, uh, an exam. Now once you finish that exam, you'll automatically get a downloadable um, professional certification, um, basically a certificate that you can print out and hang in your office or wherever you know, you'd like to have it. Um, there, it will also come with all of the logos, so if you'd like to add that to your email signature or a business card or hang it in your, um, your studio or your office, wherever you want to do, there's going to be a bunch of downloadable content for you. Um, the, the reason I say downloadable is this, this platform is going to be available globally, um, so at the moment we do have everything just available for you to download um, and print out on your own. Uh, like I mentioned there, the, the price is $299, uh, and that will be for everyone. If you have gone through a live academy uh, before, so if you've gone to a live session, please reach out to us, um, and we can kind of talk through it with you. Okay, now I think we're going to go into the platform. Wait, we have a question? Uh, a question here, okay. Question from Ralph. Uh, is the $299, is that a one-time payment or a yearly sub? That is just going to be a one-time fee. So you pay $2.99, you have access to it um, basically for life. You have access to all the content that currently is living in there. Next question, do you, do you have to pass the exam to officially get certification? Yes, so we have designed the platform where you do need to go through everything in the profile. So you'll need to go through the quizzes, you'll need to watch the videos, you'll need to listen to the podcasts, and at the end you will have to pass the exam in order to get that certification. Uh, and we do give you multiple attempts to do it, so it's not like you fail one time and you have to redo everything. So, um, but yes, we do require that just so that it gives you know, us a, an indication that you are you know, knowledgeable on the products and the data and everything like that. Any more questions? Uh, yes, we have a question from Kyle. I had to step away, but are there a number of levels of certification? So yes, this, right now this is our phase one plan, uh, which is the professional certification. We'll, we'll, we will be building on that, so there will be different levels coming. Uh, we don't have any indication on, on when that will be coming, but uh, there will be more levels uh, that we'll, we'll be adding on to it. That's 
Okay, well, yeah, thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, please send us an email at marketing at flightscope.com uh, or sales at flightscope.com. We can answer any questions you have. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, the platform will be officially launching on February 1st, so Monday of next week. And um, the, the pricing, like I mentioned, $299. And uh, if you're interested in the free content, you can go there and enroll. Um, but it will be available at flightscopelearning.com on February 1st. Thanks for joining.